Hey guys, it's David. I just want to give you a quick walkthrough of the auction house for tomorrow's auction, October 15th. Preview registration is going to start at 3 p.m. First item is not going to sell till 5.30. We are giving away a 32-inch flat screen TV, three tickets to XWE Wrestling, and then three tickets to the Salinas Sirens Roller Derby Tournament in uh, November. So, got a really cool Lewis marching or conductor's baton. That was made in uh, Kansas City, Missouri. It's got the manual with it. From the 1940s. Got some really cool military items. Some flags up here from Sydney, Australia. Some accommodation awards. Another really cool piece here. Let's bring this down. Pop up. I probably can't with one hand, but you'll see when you're here. It's really cool. Got a really cool uh, Kodak instant camera still in the box. So pretty hard to find. Got some really nice hand painted in the pond. And then some American Fostoria pieces here. So you got like the top hat, the toothpick holder, some really nice glasses. Candle holders. A nice lamp. I'm just gonna go this way. So again, I'm just doing a quick walkthrough. A nice glass table and chairs. There's four chairs with that. This card table. The chimney over here. It's about to be winter, so it's a good piece. There's two mirrors there. Another mirror there. Three tier display rack. Which is really cool if you own a store, just trying to display some really nice stuff. It'd be great for shoes if you're a huge shoe person. Some outdoor furniture. Scale and ironing board. Recliners there. Really nice RCA Victor record player with the manuals. There's needles still in there. You can see how amazing condition that's in. So that's a great piece. Nice chest of drawers. Your dresser and mirror here. This is actually a full bedroom set. So you got the bed right here. A nice stand there. It's gonna pop over here real quick. So some really nice uh, fur hats. You can see with the boxes, which is awesome. That one's local. It's really nice pieces. Some luggage underneath. Sans and I, and soft case. I'm not gonna talk about everything, obviously, but some really cool metal shelves right there. Great for the garage. Kids foldable chairs. It's not something you see every day. Library magazine rack. Some really nice uh, table trays. You know, most families don't eat at the table anymore, so those are great to eat in front of the TV, I guess, if you're into that. Some nice desk, some hampers. Really nice humidifier, still in the box there. Another uh, table and chairs, got a wheelchair there. Just a ton of furniture, crushed red velvet. Glider over there, it's really nice. Bunch of lamps. That was a really cool mod one. As you can see it's kind of different. It sticks out over there. It's got that gold top on it. Really cool mod looking uh, bookshelf or sneak knack shell. It's a twin hide a bed right there, so you can't really tell. It's probably something you'd miss. And I I probably would have missed it if the guys wouldn't have reminded me, but really nice sofa. Pro form exercise bike. Really cool. So really cool piece. This is a uh, primitive shelving unit for a shop. Or I mean, it's huge, guys. I think uh, probably at least nine feet. It's got the mailbox style sorters in there. Really nice queen. Chester drawers there. Another full to queen right there. That's adjustable. The dresser with the mirror again. Two twin adjustable beds. You can. Keep one of one at a time, or push them together, and make a pretty decent size. His and hers there. Washer and dryer right there. It's a drying rack. We're gonna work our way back over this way, and we'll hit the tables real quick. It's got a couple optical lighted trees. You know those sell for quite a bit. Some really nice glassware. Some stoneware there. You got some magazines, books. 
some really nice decor. This is one of those shark rockets. It's got the uh, all the attachments, all that good stuff. It's like new condition in the bag down there. I know those things are worth a pretty penny. So tons and tons of matchbox. We do have some red lines in here, and they're going to be here. So these are the red lines. We've got a couple that are got your gold, gold lines, some watches, jewelry, Halloween, some more household items. PS2, PS1 consoles, Atari games. We've got brainstorming, video chess, video pinball, haunted house. The games are there. Electric walk. Just a ton of cars, guys. A ton of die cast cars. I'll show you some more. Matchbox. Got a Frankenstein one over there that's also red line. So here's here's your bigger die cast vehicle still in the boxes. Some that are loose. It's different bobbleheads. There we go, General Lee, Dukes of Hazard. That's a cool piece. So we got quite a bit of my, uh, Maisto, if I'm pronouncing it right, I hope. And uh, that's really nice. Here's a 20 gallon, 1947 U.S. Army soup pot. So that's, I mean, you can kind of get an idea about how big that is. It's a pretty good size, guys. Huge floor jack. Boxes and nails, boxes and nails, some more cars. Small cattle syringes for immunizations, what have you. Those are pretty cool. Some more games. Tons of steering wheels for PS2, PS1. Rockstar, there's some PS2 games. State quarters, we got some different sets and state quarters. Some tools, miscellaneous electronics. Got a beater there. Some silver. Again, just a bunch of knickknacks in here. This is a pretty cool piece. It's really vintage. Some really cool old Valentines. Some old cool games. There's a little tin toy. Master Builder Tinker Toys. A bunch of vintage toys and games there. Spare tires, you need one of those. Donut. Huge water hose down there. Bunch of cassette tapes. Some really cool jars. Those look really cool out in the garden when the light hits them. Some fabric, electronics, portable cassette recorder, VHS. Really cool uh, Zenith radio over here. It's a really cool piece. Some more glassware, pots, pans, vases, all that kind of stuff. Some old maps. We got Skelly in there. We got Golf. We got Texaco, Firestone. I remember, there's stuff under these tables too. A lot of really good luggage, vintage luggage that sells really well still. Singer Featherweight in operating condition. It's a really nice piece. It's got the light there, as you can see. Coffee cups, silverware, glasses, some more glass there, a bunch of light bulbs. How much do you pay for those when you go out to the store? Tons. You can come here and get a pretty good deal on those. Some more hard luggage, a wig, DVD players, DVD VHS. There's a really nice uh, HP wireless printer down there. Some old dolls, some artwork, really nice collector's spoons down here and picks. These are really nice silver pieces. Some baseball cards, some license plates, some more home decor, stereo system, bunch of PS2 games, a bunch more. These are all Xbox Live games, a bunch of PS2 and PlayStation games, Highlander series on VHS. There can be only one corny joke in this video. Some angels, DVDs there, purses, yard tools, hand tools, gloves. Really cool chess set. We don't have the board, but these are really cool. So a dealer, that's a cool piece to pick up. Line wind chime, that's old. It's an old piece. Some collector's plates. Here's a Danbury Mint Wildlife uh, collection crystals. Let's see how cool those are. 
home appliances, food choppers, George Foreman grills, can openers, toasters, humidifiers. I'm kind of getting out of the kitchen, but <laughs> microwave, really cool Electrolux, vacuum. Again, guys, I'm, I'm not mentioning a lot of this stuff. I'm just kind of going through pretty quick. I don't want a three hour, four hour video. You can enjoy the, being in the video tomorrow for three or four hours during the auction. Bunch of really cool artwork. Some good pieces in there. Tons of books. We got a lot of vintage books. Some modern books, and I'll show you those. So it kind of bounces around a little bit. Some old stuffed animals. Tons of Christmas stuff. Tons of Christmas stuff. Holiday. Uh, canning jars. These are nice little... This would be a shot glass and a tiny shot glass wine glass. That's perfect. Some nice vintage thermoses. Thermos still in the... Uh, Actual box, which is cool. Really nice cooler. Some religious items. Old meat grinder. Sad irons here. Little jewelry. Container, scotch cooler. It's really cool. Pots and pans and organizers and coffee percolators. Really nice crystal 18-piece punch bowl. And the pieces are in there. It was in the box. I actually took it out just to show people the kind of what it looks like. Some really nice, really nice glassware in this auction. Some more Samsonite luggage. Again, hard luggage. Hard to find, but it's here. Rolling Thunder. Some really cool coffee cups. I tried to separate those so that you could kind of see the cool ones. This is all, I know you can't really tell here. We'll talk about it when you come, but this is all marble stuff here. And even these cups. So the only way you could get those is if you, you know, you smoke a ton of cigarettes and you send in those clips back in the day. They used to send you those. So there's a barber set here. And they're cool, really. It's a bronze piece. Cool belt buckle. Some models. Boom, we're going to jump back over here. Some stuffed animals. There's some vintage pieces in here. There's a really cool uh, military bear, U.S. Air Force. This is one of my favorite tables, so... Really vintage bookends there. Typewriter, Dr. Pepper. Got a Hershey's container there. Got an old, very old shoe polish brush. Somebody probably worked pretty hard with that. Popular Mechanics notes. Students' guitar, vintage. Some really, really old dolls. So let's see that piece. Again, this is one of my favorite tables. Small milk glasses. Medicine containers. These are really nice paperweights. These are heavy duty. Golden Crown. So there's a Kindle. 2,000 mile oil jar. It's really cool from the Kickapoo tribe. Maytag motor oil. I'll tell you what about that tin. I've sold a lot of gas oil tins in my life, and that is the cleanest Maytag I've ever seen. That bore headed talcum is really nice too. That toilet powder. That's a really cool piece. Bunch of watch bands. That came straight from, uh, straight from the White House, that piece. Steve Urkel. I really want to pull it, but I'm not going to. These are really old. These are from the early, like around 1912, right around that era. Some, some postcards are really cool. Oh, Catwoman, little satchel. And uh, some Game Boy games. we got Castlevania and we got Paperboy. So those are, those are really cool games. I'm going to walk over here. Miss this artwork. A nice unicorn, a frog, and a Thomas painting. That's a pretty cool painting. You have to come in and check that out. That's a it's a pretty nice abstract piece. Case of Dia Maker. Some really nice glassware. CDs. Foot therapy. I need that after walking around all day. A pretty nice uh, CB there. Tons more books. Learn to cook. There's a whole box for you. Pots, pans, Christmas items. Guess who game? Somebody buy that for me. I like that game. Really nice punch set. Beautiful set. These are state plates. These are kind of mixed in, but these are really nice collector's plates. Got a Norman Rockwell right there on top, so we know that's worth some money. Some clowns. I definitely won't be buying those. So step up. These are two Christmas dish sets. And there's eight and eight. So eight plates, eight bowls, eight of your saucers, and eight of your cups, if I didn't already say that. Some really nice Christmas plates here. 
all this glassware is still in the boxes so we just want to take some pieces out and show you what it looked like another mirror over here I gotta make sure I can get all this in here I keep popping around too much we're already at 15 minutes I'll tell you what I probably missed this but we got a ton of records guys a ton of records we got 45s uh, large records you name it we've we've got a ton of records I would say if records had scrap weight we'd be millionaires okay there's a 45s bunch of brand new mailboxes still in the box Christmas items tons of doorknobs locks Pipe fittings, 90s, elbows, all that good stuff. Vintage posters. There's some newer, modern ones. A bunch of softballs. They got signatures on them, but I don't, I don't know if it's anybody famous. So I guess let's come to the auction, find out if that's what you're into. Some primitive hand tools for the kitchen. Oh, couple swag mags that are actually pretty high end. I'm not going to zoom in on those too much, but electric shoe polisher. That's really cool. Tons of CDs. But uh, those those magazines I was just talking about, those are worth quite a bit. You'll have to come check those out and actually dig through them. This is a really pretty set. This is the Spode Bone China. It's a full set, and that's really nice. So some really nice glass pieces here, guys. Again, I can't spend too much time already at 16 minutes, but I do want to give you an idea of what's going to be here. I'll look a little Viewmaster. Some slides there. Wizard of Oz, that's awesome. Frog decor. Some vintage Christmas stuff. That is hand on, that's silver there. It's a flower basket, it's really cool. Carolers, you know, that's probably worth quite a bit. This is Havlin in France. It's a really nice piece. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit so you can see that a little bit more. Do like a really cool pan shot. There we go. Got an HP computer, monitor, and tower. I'm just, guys, again, I'm just buzzing along. There's some silver there, big serving tray, some artwork. Tons more 45s. Tons of them. This is really high end perfume bottles. We got Fendi in there, Dolce & Gabbana, some other big names. There's a Bisque Musical Clown. I think I've got some more listed online about that. Aquarium looks like a big old hamster bowl. That's pretty cool. Oh, let me pop back over here. I almost forgot. I missed a bunch of stuff, see? Walking around, there's so much stuff here. Really nice dresser. Really nice full. And that's an, that's an adjustable bed, and that's, that's full size. Nice wire rack. Wooden quilt rack. Another mirror there. Some tile pieces. So you have your corners, and then we have some straight. And there was some smaller tiles, some backsplash. Your larger tile here. We've actually got four stools. We've got one of them on stage. Some crutches. Electric Christmas tree. These are uh, 71 by 64 inches. Uh, these are huge blinds, guys. They're awesome. Another vacuum there. Golf set. See, I'm just walking around missing stuff. There's so much stuff here. I'm telling you, I haven't even scratched the surface. I'll probably talk to you about 10% of it, if that, that we've even seen on here. Let me point out some pieces that I, that I prefer. These are really, really cool. So these are Old Monroe clothes out of New York City. And these are advertisements. And they're framed. That's from 1919. So those are in fabulous condition. Some Fox Hunt prints, which are really cool. And then here's some Seagram's. Seagram 7, the whiskey advertising paintings. The green Teal Duck and then the Striped Bass. Those are awesome. This is that 1938 Coca-Cola ice box, which... I'm in love with guys. This is a this is a super awesome piece. I wanted to say sick, but it's definitely not sick. It's it's awesome. A Southern Pacific Red Globe etched railroad lantern. That piece should sell really well. It's a really nice piece. Those are worth quite a bit of money still. Market hasn't changed too much on those. It's got some needlepoint. This is a really cool kaleidoscope. This is worth quite a bit of money. It would be really cool. Oh, look at that. I don't think. Ah, quality's not good enough. I'm sorry, I'm probably driving you wild. All right. Some old military items. Iron Cross there. More military. A bunch of old Alice Chalmers manuals. You can't get those anymore. Jade Horn necklace. Some more necklaces. Some smalls. 
I just got some small ones. A couple of Monopoly pieces, stuff like that. Older ones. Lots of pins. Sterling silver pieces in there. Gold filled pieces in there. And this is a huge jewelry lot. So if you're a dealer, this would be an awesome lot. If you just like jewelry, this would be an awesome lot. You can literally wear one piece, throw it out, and wear a new one the next day. I mean, everybody be envying you. It's a bunch of flower pots, some sprayers, nice broom, wet mops, dry mops. This ladder. It's a good little step ladder. John insisted on throwing this in here, but I'm going to show you something that I think is really cool. Because, you know, I'm all about umbrellas and stuff, but this, this piece is super cool to me. So this is a hand-carved African cane. I got pictures of that online, but that is an awesome piece. So that you guys know a little treasure is hidden right here. It's up here with these umbrellas and stuff. That's where that's at. Old axe, some yard tools, shovel, etc. Big old wooden ladder. <laughs> ladder. <laughs> Lantern. Some mops, shovels, rakes, hose reel. Or winder, excuse me. Exercise machine. I kind of bounce over here. All right, guys. I think I got a, probably about, I don't know, at least 65%, I would think, of this stuff. I'm sure there's a lot we miss. But come out see us tomorrow. Thanks for watching this video. It's almost an hour long. It's probably going to take you about three hours to walk through here anyway and kind of see everything. So about the length of the auction. So have a seat and buy some great stuff. Thanks, guys. <music>